<laughs> what it do, what it do. Hey, bud, what's going down? Hey, Facebook. <laughs> this is the official announcement. The No Wife Happy Life movement is officially over. I know I got a lot of um a lot of my dogs that hit me up on Facebook and uh in person. And um I'm I'm for real y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm hanging up my jersey, turning in the black book, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hit me up for the black book, you know. But uh we out here at a uh remote location. You know what I'm talking about? What you want? What she say? Hey. When when do you really know that this person is the one for you? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of topics about that, you know. Hey baby, how how do you know when it's somebody you wanna like marry for real, for real? Uh, when they check the boxes, when your program is aligned. And the chemistry. All right, that's a bet. That's a bet. Yeah, I, you know, like with me, I like to see if I could deal with somebody like sexually, and if I could deal with them non-sexually too, right? Because after you get that nut out of the way, you got to be able to get along outside of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, substance is important. Substance, you know. Yeah. So I like I like baby girl because you know I knew I knew she was the one off real because her I mean she got a good family. Uh, you know, of course, she's beautiful. I'm attracted to her, but uh, she's also very intelligent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and she got her own. This, I'm at I'm at her house mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this this your house, right? Yes, sir. We are we are her location, so mm -hmm. it ain't. You know, my biggest challenge that I was having was finding somebody that was a uh, equally yoke or greater than. You know what I mean? So, um, and I was able to figure that part out. You know. So um, it's it's no shade, but I got I do have a background in uh, finance and financial literacy and education and things like that. So um, you know she has a background in that as well. You know, so you know when I when I have an idea of I want to run that by the baby girl, she she know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know that's a it's a very you know I'm a sapio sexual that's what they call it, somebody that's stimulated by the mind you know what i'm saying yeah. um so what about yourself you you're a sap you're i'm definitely a sapiosexual meaning that i'm attracted to intelligence drive ambition yeah so i think we're definitely aligned and evenly yeah. you. so they they think i'm capping though that's okay uh, yo yo when your house going on the market thursday yeah, she about to liquidate a house that's going on the market on Thursday. And then she about to come live with me. And she about to get a real estate license. And we about to take over the, the planet. You know what I'm saying? You crack me up. Yeah, we about, we about to do this thing. We about to do this thing for real, for real. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, baby. Yeah, I mean, she got a background in business and finance. I'm like, you can't make this shit up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yes, beloved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, it's good. I'm like, I always been looking for somebody I could build with, somebody that's a helpmate, somebody that don't want. Uh, and it's no shade, but a lot of women that I was dating just want, uh, I say, dick, attention, wallet, lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want to come and build or add value or be a partner or a helpmate you know what i'm saying but baby girl she talking about uh she you know she want to be a wife she want to be a mom she wants to build she got an education she got the same background as me um i might not have the uh educational background as her you know what i'm saying but i have the experience so you know we're equally yoked on that platform so a lot of a lot of my dogs was like, man, nigga, you capping my nigga, or <laughs> nigga, you you was the one that was leading the movement of the no wife happy life, and uh, you know, I'm like, shit, you know, nigga, change his mind, goddamn, a nigga can change his goddamn mind, right? Yeah. So, I mean, that's just that's just what time it is, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. 
but I met I'm, I just I just flew out here, met met the mama, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just met just met a daughter, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. You know this straight from Trinidad. You know we want we about to take. I ain't straight from Trinidad. I've been here twenty three years. I didn't just get off the boat. She ain't just get off the boat. <laughs> she ain't get off the boat. But her mama from Trinidad, straight right. from Trinidad, right? Yes, sir. Your mom still living in Trinidad? Yes, sir. My whole family. Yeah, you still got a house in Trinidad? Yes, sir. Okay. So where, so what, like when it comes to dating, what you be looking for, baby? When what it comes to doing? dating? Yeah, like. We, we, uh, as I said, you said ambition. Yeah, what, but what that mean? What, the, the point is every person is different. You really need I said, some. I said you. Me, okay. I was looking for somebody who didn't want, who didn't see me as a come up, right? Somebody who was evenly yoked. So you was that having brought that... something to the table. I was having the same experience that men had, right? So, yeah. Like, so a lot of men were trying to use. You yeah, for they're a trying come to up. use me as a come up. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so it's refreshing to just. Relax and enjoy somebody for what they are and not what they can give you or what lifestyle they can support because you can support your own lifestyle. Right. So, but that's just me. Everybody's just, story. Yeah, is every, different. everybody's different. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so I think it's just important to be evenly yeah. and to be aligned in your goals and where you are at life. You got to be at the same stage in life. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. 10 toes down. Yeah. Um, I, you know, like I said, I'm looking for a partner, a helpmate, somebody that want to be a wife, somebody that wants a family, somebody that want to build. You know, it's like I, I'm in real estate, you know, and that's what I do. This is what I do, and I'm very successful at it. But somebody that can come through, um, and that can see the bigger picture and add to it. It was like shit, fuck it, man. You know, we talked, we <laughs> conversated, and it was like a two week notice you know what i'm saying but and that facebook though your facebook, facebook is ratchet yeah my facebook is ratchet yeah. as fuck but... you almost didn't stand a chance because that facebook is ratchet yeah but she saw through my ratchetness on <laughs> facebook and that's how we met we met on facebook right yes baby so she seen all my uh coonery and my buffoonery that i be and doing i was on like the my god that guy is not to be messed with <laughs> You know, but here we here we go. We engaged right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so hey, the the leader of the no wife happy life movement is over with. You heard me? Hey, I know I, I know a lot of my dogs. They gonna be mad at me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was I was pushing the line. I was pushing the line. But you gotta understand that. Shit, when you find what you're looking for, it's just like real estate, bro. It's like real estate, my nigga. Shit, you put a house on the market, my nigga, and ain't know it's gonna be there. <laughs> ain't, ain't that right? Flattery will get you everywhere. Yeah, shit. Goddamn, <laughs> nigga. A house going on the market, my nigga, and you put it on there, bro. That bitch might not always be on there. So I had to make a decision. You know what I'm saying? So I made the best decision. And that you did. You made a decision really quickly. And yeah. that is admirable. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's and what that I did. And that shows uh, good intuition mm -hmm. and good discernment. And I think those are two things that are very important when you're choosing a partner. You really got to be intuitive and have discernment. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And you got to know yourself. You know, you got to be very self-aware. Right. Yeah. Because I think we both made a lot of mistakes. But, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. But, you know, like, when I be dating and I was, like, courting and going through all of that, it's like, damn, why is this person really fucking with me? And even though, like, you know, I have a history and, you know, I don't, I come from very humble beginnings and I don't look at myself the way I look at myself now, but, you know, some people are out here just looking for the come up and it's finesse game and that's just what it is and you can accept it or not. But, you know, a lot of people are looking for the next best thing after they make their choices and their decisions in life, you know what I'm saying? So after I look for, and see for what it is and what it what it was, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, all right, this person, you know what, this just going to be a short-term thing. Then that, then that block game is strong, you know what I'm saying? The block game is strong, and you got to be able to identify what's going to be best for you. So, shit, and, that, you know, like I said, it was a simple decision for me. I'm like shit. She already she already had her own thing going on before she met me. You feel me? 
<laughs> like she you she flew out she flew out to me. Then I flew out here. You know what I'm saying? When you got somebody that's just as equally invested in a relationship as you, instead of somebody that only want to give an inch and while you giving a mile, then that's an unequally yoked relationship. You dig? You know what I'm saying? So that was my experience of what I was running to. Just a lot of motherfuckers looking for a come up. They made their poor choices. Then they looking for a man. And shit, you can only hold your uh, your cars to your chest so long. You know what I'm saying? And shit, you know, shit. Real estate goddamn taught me how to do use discernment and how to analyze everything. So I already know, shit. You know, in my personal life, it's the same thing. So, you know, that's where we at with it. You know, I got somebody I can build with. I got a partner. I got a helpmate. We going to run it up. And some people gonna use their little negative energy and we ain't got time for that shit. That's yep. just straight up. Hashtag Team Alexander. Yep. Team Alexander, goddamn. That's how we running that bitch. That's how we running that. What, what, what are you talking about, baby? Uh, what, what it be like? What it, appreciate you, Charles. What it be like out there in Trinidad? Y'all looking for... What, what it be like, man? I mean, out here in the U.S., this shit cut through in the bit. No, the country is very different. I mean, resources are scarce. So the concept of finding a partner is definitely always having a teammate that you can build with. I mean, there is not a lot of women at home looking for a man to rescue them or take them out of something because we don't have access to credit. We don't have we don't have social services like you are to build together man and woman or you don't have nothing. So. I think right. in that in, in that way the culture is very different also uh at least in my country um we are raised very balanced so you don't have to be a whore housewife you can be both <laughs> <laughs> you can have your education and still be attentive to your man or cater to your man i think it's about balance and I mean, I've been in the U.S. 23 years and I, I struggle with that for a long time because I feel like here, women have to be in a box. You're either housewife material or Cardi B or, and or mistress style. material yeah, yeah. Or, uh, or as Kevin Samuel said, modern woman, professional woman material. But at home, we're really raised to be well-rounded. So maybe that's the difference. But anyway. Um, man, Charles, Char, hey, Charles, man, hey, we going up. I'm taking all of the fellas to Trinidad, bro. Stop! <laughs> hey, all all of my all of my dogs, we going to Trinidad. Single single fella, bro, we going to Trinidad, bro. Trust me, my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, they breed it different, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? So we going we going to Trinidad. We going we getting that one way ticket out there. Well, of no, course we gotta come back. They I ain't, ain't gonna let back. you to the country with a one week ticket. Oh yeah, we got. We gonna have. They gotta know you leaving when you're done. Hey, my my dog, my dog Charles said he tired of the bullshit, man. Oh hey, my gosh, you gotta go foreign. You gotta go foreign, Stop my nigga. Stop it. It's not about foreign or not foreign. Man, you gotta go foreign, it's, bro. It's just I'm a trying to tell you. Culture, baby. Yeah, it's a different culture, but go foreign, yeah. my nigga. I'm trying to tell you, bro. You motherfuckers stay out here in the United States, my nigga. The United States is made to get your money, bro. Get the bag in the United States. And once you get to the position where you at, which I already know you well established, you well off, then, you know, hey, you're going to have to go hit that Trinidad. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's where it's at. I want the Trinity ladies in advance. Uh, you don't want them in advance. I'm going to want them in advance that the charter flight hey, is coming. You hey. guys are cracking me up. Yeah, look, he said retired army. Hey, bro, I'm trying to tell you, my nigga. Y'all already know I was the leader of the No Wife Happy Life movement. You heard me? So I'm trading in my jersey in the black book, bro. But I'm that Facebook still ratchet, though. Yeah, I'm not going to toe down on the ratchetness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, just, that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Well, shoot, we're going we gonna to turn that. Hey, bro, they, they try to tell you, they try to tell you Brazil and everything else philippine you don't want to do that bro take go to go to trinidad my nigga i'm trying to tell you we gonna have a we you need a tour guide in trinidad no, you need somebody need that tour need... guide. we speak english it's i totally speak fine. english yes, all right look hey they speak english in trinidad bro i'm trying to tell you that's where we at so uh, you know i'm like damn i got the beauty and the brain she coming with he said oh, i look for a good you're too sweet babe 
who really, hey, man, Trinidad women are raised like that. I just met a mom, fam. I met the mom, bro. I ain't never met a woman mom and talked to her for a whole hour, bro. Never, never a day in my life. I'm, that's square business. I'm just keeping it 100. And, uh, you know, I'm with the mom. We having a good time. She know how to turn up. And um, We definitely know how to turn up. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> hey, but you got you to gotta really look at it, too, man. You know. I look at everything, man. I look at the family. I look at a person history. I look at where they at right now. Like, what was you doing before I even met you? Why are you even in the situation that you in, you know? And you can obviously tell she been making good choices, man. Y'all see this? I'm at, I'm, at, I'm at her house, bro. She ain't trying to... A lot of folks be like, oh, you know, how you know she ain't using you? Man, you, do you see this right here, bro? Do you see this right here? There's no cap. I'm at her place. I ain't even trying to stunt right now. <laughs> ain't this ain't this your stuff hey, right stop. now? Stop. Yeah. Well, look. No, oh, that's a no cap, man. You know what I'm saying? But we we got it. We got even a bigger play that we about to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't think she about to get a real estate license in 30 days, bro. It's that motherfucking simple, man. So, you know, I'm just you find somebody that's equally yoked, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like. I might not have the NBA, but I got the NBA in real life. You know what I'm saying? Yes, baby. No, never go broke. Not about the credentials on paper all the time. Mm. Sometimes it's just the experience, mm. the drive, the mindset, the discipline. I think the discipline uh, is really important. Mm. And the resilience. The and resilience. the staying power. Mm -hmm. So you about, you, about to, you about to sell this right here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Love makes you do crazy things. Love, love make you do crazy <laughs> things, man. I do, I do, man. But I'm hanging up. I'm hanging up my jersey. He said, "Hey, my partner Charles said you got a sister, only no, child, I'm an bro. Only child, <laughs> only child, bro. Only child. Hey, that's another thing. We don't have a whole bunch of children in the islands. My mom just has one. Just one. Yeah." yeah. Cause that's how you you really unless you come from a wealthy family you can't build wealth with a whole football team of children you really have to be strategic so right right yeah. so that was my mom's my, my parents plan when they had me you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah. it was it was the build wealth right yeah yeah exactly. and you gotta be practical like uh my family loves to travel when you got five kids and plane tickets ain't cheap <laughs> no, no, they not cheat them. You got about five for five kids and two adults. I guess you're only driving to Six Flags then. <laughs> <laughs> so, bigger. yeah, you know, um, I really encourage people to be very strategic uh, with their decisions mm. and really think about generational wealth and, and things like that. It, it doesn't come by accident. At least it doesn't for the majority of people. Right. It's very sacrificial. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's very intentional. So you might have to forego having some of the fun. So, so for instance, when I was in college, so I did my undergrad and my MBA in the U.S., but mm -hmm. like everybody else was partying, I definitely wasn't partying. And I did go to an HBCU. I went to college in be more. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was still able to stay focused. So it takes a lot of sacrifice. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's square business, man. My dog, my dog hit me up, and you know, you told me you're going through a little situation, and uh, I keep your head up, my nigga. But you got to go through them adversities, my nigga. You got to go through your trials and tribulations right now, and uh, you got to go through that sacrifice. And um, I, you know, I'm gonna go off topic for just for a little bit. I don't know why y'all niggas keep hitting me up, but stop doing that shit, bro. You put yourself in that situation. Get yourself up out there, bitch, nigga. I had to donate plasma and ride the bus. I've been locked up just like how you been locked up, my nigga. Just remember that, bro. Ain't nobody right you, my nigga. Ain't nobody right me either. Just remember that, my nigga. So stop hitting me up on some fuck-ass shit. And I know you watching this video, my nigga. Just remember that. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, get back to the topic. But, um, you know, man, you know, I found that, like I said, man, I'm engaged for real, for real. I'm going to go ahead and do this video. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I found me, I found my life partner, man. I found my soulmate off of Facebook. You did off of Facebook. This is no cap. So I know. Yeah. So I guess the trash talking did help you after all. Hey, the squeaky wheel get the grease. You heard me? The squeaky wheel get the grease. You know what I'm saying? Is this the crazy man? She was like, "Damn, this nigga crazy as hell." 
Look. And here I am. <laughs> Go. Well, she came out here. She looked. She put that pressure. Hey, I haven't been I on. I didn't put no pressure. Did... What pressure did I put you? You did put Stop that, that look. foolishness right now. She said, "Hey, my mom down here from Trinidad. She leaving on Saturday. You ain't even come and see my mom." Man, I haven't been on the plane <laughs> since I was five years old, bro. Motherfucker, I jumped. I went skydiving, though. I did go skydiving in uh, December, but I haven't been on a plane since I was five. You know what I'm saying? So You did good, baby. Yeah, I appreciate that, baby. But I went ahead and hopped on that motherfucking plane, came to meet the mom, because the mom, he said, where are you? I, I'm at a remote location, my nigga. Can't, <laughs> can't reveal the hand, my nigga. We're you know in the saying? middle of America. We're in the Bible Belt. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> hey, everywhere the Bible Belt. No, no, is. this is the Bible Belt, Bible Belt. No, well, really? Okay, well, I don't know. I'm not an expert the, the, in America. The, 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 yeah, yeah. The, this is the Bible Belt, mm -mm, though. The, the Bible Belt. Okay, I'm from. in the cornfields. How about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At the rope remote location, my <laughs> nigga. Just know that, you know what I'm saying? Even though even though even though I'm looking good, smelling good, and I'm happy, <laughs> nigga. You know these motherfuckers out here be hating, my nigga. They let be looking for that come up, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. But yeah, my partner say here in Carolina. Do they got Trinidadians out there in uh Carolina? Yeah, they do. Look, we're, bro. We're everywhere. Hey, bro, you got to hey, find the Trinidad community, my nigga. All you got to do is type in Carolina, Trinidad. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you giving advice, though? You didn't even know what you're talking hey, about. <laughs> I was, you, hey, that, that No Wife Happy Life movement was real. I had a movement behind me. You know what I'm saying? You was just fronting. I was not You friend. wanted a wife all along. No, I yes, didn't want did. no wife. I didn't want no wife. Yes, you did. No, that was, was just a defense mechanism. That yeah, was just, was that, that was just trauma talking. Trauma, trauma. Set up a smoke signal if you need a rescue. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he don't need no rescue. Yeah. No, no. That Do you guys good. need a rescue? This no, one good. here don't need no rescue. No, I don't need no rescue. He don't need no rescuing. No, no, I don't, man. I'm just like. <laughs> but I get why they say that, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, Hey, this uh, being being single, man, it got pros and its cons, man. But you know where I'm at right now, man. I'm looking for to build my family lineage and my legacy. Uh, you know, my parent, my parents still married to this day, man. It's over fifty years of marriage. My uh, my girl, both my parents' family been married for uh, till death, man. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. I'm the last person in my family to be married to have any kids. You know what I'm saying? Straight up, I'm flying with the Black Hawk. I feel you, my brother. I feel you. I feel you. So what? what? Um, for those who are gonna come and oh, she needs a green card. FYI, I do not need a green card. I've been in America twenty three years. Twenty three years, baby. <laughs> I can yeah. assure you that I'm perfectly legal. Yeah. <laughs> and this is not a six city green card marriage, but you know you can run with that story. I, I'll appreciate that if you want to. Go well, ahead. But <laughs> hey, but you, but you, but you want to be a you want to be a wife though. You ain't you ain't of just course. trying to be no jump off. Let me let me get some. No, no more for you. No, nah, I'm good. I'm okay. good. Let me, let me just get. A what you drinking? Up. What you drinking? What Eugene is, right is drinking cookie dough whiskey. Cookie dough whiskey. It's seventy percent proof. Huh? Seventy. All right. Uh huh. One sip. All right, all right, y'all. I'm, I'm from Square Bidding, man. The No Wife Happy Life movement is over. You know what I'm saying? We at, I'm at one of these remote locations, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I'm really just really take it to the next level, man. You know what I'm saying? You feel good to have a partner and to have a helpmate, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's how I'm rocking, you know? We gonna we gonna run it. We gonna run it up, man. Shit, I don't need I don't need no I don't need man. I'm I don't need a spreadsheet to analyze every goddamn thing, man. That's just just <laughs> some how it things is. you do. No, I, that's why I have a team. That's why I got a team. But mm -hmm. look, you what you study long, you study wrong. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You better you better know what's good in front of you. If you don't know what's good in front of you, then you gonna miss out. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. So I, so hey, I got some, baby. You gonna get your real estate license? Yes, sir. She getting a real estate license too, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all about building wealth together. I mean, real estate is not my expertise, 
but I definitely have the skill set. So. Yeah. That's not your expertise? No. What's your expertise? My expertise is financial reporting and corporate finance. Corporate finance? Yes, sir. Look at that corporate finance, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's up? What's up, Brittany? This is my niece right here. Hey, Brittany. Yo, hey, yeah, hey, Brit, hey, Brittany, no cap, man. Hey, the aunt, the aunt can't be single too long, man. I can't be out here single, man. It's a, it's, a, it's pretty cold out here. What's up, D? What's up, D? I think let me let me say something here. I think uh, it's important to see because I, I mean. Eugene, your mouth a little different than mine. Mm-hmm. Um, I think as black people of the diaspora, the black diaspora from, you know, whether it's in the U.S. or Africa, the Caribbean or Latin America, we really need to start uh, putting our heads together and figuring out what works for us uh, and what works in one culture versus another. I think, I mean, because I've been here 23 years and I've been feeling, particularly in the past five years, this whole pressure, okay, is either you're the part of the 50-50 movement or the part of, like, you know, you need a man to take care of you and he can't, if he can't take care of you, you don't want that man. And, I mean, I think it's a lot of mis- in, in from, misinformation. misinformation. And I yeah. think if we could really, like, cross-pollinate and discuss together, like, in terms of the black community building wealth and having stronger families like we really need to share share ideas so like i think sometimes regine is pretty raw in his messaging like there's no war and it, it, it's not about caribbean or foreign black women are better than that american woman i'm i'm not i'm not gonna be an advocate of that i think it's mm. just the way the u.s is set up with institutionalized racism and just the way that it is like you're kind of forced into citizen mindsets because you don't know better. You don't know what your other brothers and sisters are doing that can work. So um, I'm hoping I can help him to soften his message because it's not about war. Okay, it's about hey. learning from each other and what works. Right. Hey, I'm okay. war. War already. Behave. Hey, my my niece, my niece <laughs> said, my niece said I was waiting for you to settle down. <laughs> Time to set a down bell that link and see. Hey, yo, that's right. Square bit of my niece, she working on getting that real estate license too. You know awesome. what I'm saying? Awesome. Hey, we about to shake it up. Out there, Waco, Texas. We're going to hold it down. We're going to hold it down. Waco, wait a minute. Isn't that where Jim Jones was? Waco, Texas? I'm just yeah, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, they, that's, that's all I know about Wego, Texas. That's, Jim why, Jim. that's why they that's why they call it uh that's why they call it Whack Town. Oh, it's really? crazy, yeah, it's crazy for real out there. Yeah. I stayed out there for a year. Really? Mm-hmm. I wear, uh matter of fact, that's where I got my real estate license at. Really? I got it, yeah, okay. I got it in Waco. But then I was like I was feeling a little homesick, so I came back to my little hometown. I wish I didn't do it, but Oh, uh, homesick. I've been away from my country for 23 years. I haven't yeah. spent Mother's Day with my mother in 23 years. What are you talking about homesick? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm Come saying. Come on. I you got to build some resilience. I know. That's what it's, I'm it saying. Comes, success comes with a lot of sacrifice. It do. A lot of it sacrifice. It does. I've made a lot of sacrifices. Hey, I'm going to lay off of Waco, Brittany, but Waco... <laughs> Hey, I'm going to tell you Waco tell crazy. It. It's crazy. It they, can't be, no place is crazy. It's, cha- it's changing, though. You didn't see a lot of uh, rebuilding up the community and everything. You know what I'm saying? Is it being gentrified? Or just yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gentrified. That, that, yeah, gentrified yeah, yeah, that ain't rebuilding. That's gentrification. That's a, but, that's hey, a whole other podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, square bidding, man. But, hey. I know, I just know from being single for so long, I know what I did not want, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I definitely wanted a partner, man, somebody that I wanted to help make, you know what I'm saying? So You should have just said so, instead of talking about no life, happy life. No Stop wife, happy life. What do you guys say? Capping, no cap. No Stop cap, capping. no cap, yeah. I, Excuse me, I don't know all of this urban slang stuff. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. going to teach me, right? Uh-huh. Hey, but um, it wasn't it wasn't cap. I was just like shit. If I ain't going, oh, ba- hey baby, I, this I fucked that toe up bad. Which one? Sorry, this, this, I'm this trying one, to squeeze this it one, up. This okay, one right you there. You want me to squeeze it out or no? No, no, no. I fuck, I think I might have a hairline fraction. Okay, yeah, I hit the hell out that motherfucker. Okay, I put some ice on it. Okay, appreciate it, baby. Okay. But um, yeah, I said no wife, happy life, but. That was then, this is now. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a season for everything. You know what I'm saying? So 
Um, I'm just I'm just going to keep it solid. You know what I'm saying? I changed my mind. And I'm a human. I got the right to change my mind. And, um, you know, somebody that got the same mindset, skill set, education, and look as good as me, you know what I'm saying? Going to make oh me look God. good. Oh, my God. Who told you you look good? You mm. told me you look good, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mm. but uh, hey man, this is a great, this is a great view. I wish we could be at this remote location, but no, so we can't. That, that, stay here. The fuck, no, nah, you, you too, too many of this out here. They not wrong with that. Nah, mm -mm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you a big bag. They okay, got, baby. they got this out here in Texas too. Okay, baby. Yeah, that shit ain't nothing. So I'm gonna get my own lake in Texas too. Yeah, okay. Okay, they got, man, they got, okay this is just live is proof. Yeah, they okay? got. They you got, got we got witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> man, they got they got beaches and lakes and all of that. You know, I my best friend said you don't have to display anything. Congratulations, I appreciate it. I, ain't, I, you know, and I, I feel, I feel, I ain't really trying to explain nothing either. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to do the announcement. Of hanging up the no wife happy life movement, you know what I'm saying? It's a different movement now. We're gonna transition, and I feel like everybody got transition. You know what I'm saying? You're so you're gonna be a good family man. Yeah, you know, I'm be I'm gonna be a good family man. I'm training in the Jersey, you know, uh -huh. training in the Jersey. Ain't that right, there? Uh -huh. yep. really mm -hmm. yeah. So hey, the no the no wife happy life movement is over with. You dig? You know what I'm saying? What's up, my nigga Dre? Got my nigga Porsche on his line, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Porsche! <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to meet you. When, when you coming to Texas, babe? Next weekend. It's going to week? be... No, no. Mama, uh, what's it? Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend? What about next weekend? Okay, next weekend. Right, you know what I'm saying? What about yeah. that? <laughs> my, my nigga Dre said we need to behave. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 this is live, isn't it? <laughs> They can't see. I got the camera. I got the I got the camera on me, baby. Hey, we going we going to Trinidad, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We motherfucking we on some island shit out. You know what I'm saying? You can't even keep up with island people. You I drink you drink three shots and you're ready for bed. Yeah, I do. Hey, yeah, I'm a lightweight shots, on that drink three now. Three shots and you're ready for your bed. Mm -mm. Hey, well, partner, say you gonna feed me some roti and tea. Yes, what you partner? Hey, darling. Well, you know about roti, like you had a trendy woman before. Yes, we're making roti, we're making jerk, we're making oxtail, we're making everything. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> right, my, nigga, my, nigga, my nigga Dre be that nigga in a different country every month. That <laughs> nigga, I nigga, an international traveling man, you know what I'm saying? My, awesome. I've been on my square for a minute, my nigga, so you know what I'm saying? That nigga got to make sure he... Focus on that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. now nigga traveling and shit. But I already knew it was gonna come as long as the nigga stay focused, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Hey, my nigga Portia said, Hey beautiful, can't wait to meet you too. Hey hon, and my mini me can't wait to meet your daughter. <laughs> yeah, her her daughter is uh twelve, so they like three years different. Yeah, but mine is eight going on twelve, so it's worth <laughs> No, she just turned nine, right? Yeah, but she's very mature. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's nine, not she eight. Nine. Yeah, my niece. Today's her birthday. My niece, uh, my niece' daughter is uh nine or ten. Mm -hmm. She in Waco right now. So you know, hey man, I know, I know, I know. I did the most talking shit. All right. Y'all talking gonna... all kinds of shit. I did talk a lot of shit. I did. Talking about, talking about what? Come over here. Let me hurt you. You talk a lot of shit. Yeah, I did. I did. Hey, my nigga, my nigga Dre, my nigga Dre said his family from Panama and Barbados. Hey, hey. you're from Barbados. Yeah. You're not a waka, or you forget. <laughs> <laughs> what they they speak uh, Espanol? Uh, uh, where Panama? Panama, Espanol, and Barbados, British English, like Trinidad. Yeah. All right, so you say. But Barbados is way more conservative than Trinidad. That's where Rihanna is from. Where? Barbados. Barbados, okay. Yeah, but they have a way more Caucasian presence. Trini is all black and Indian. Okay. Yeah. Square business, square business, man. Hey, this, hey, hey, my girl, man, she like the finer thing in life, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? What you, you like that champagne, she like that champagne lifestyle, you heard me? <laughs> it's called a soft life. 
the soft life. Yes, that's what keeps you youthful and energetic and yeah, the soft life. What's up? I got my nephew that my nephew on the line. What's up, nephew? Hey, What's up, nephew? Kiffy? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Hey, right, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a pretty good wedding, nephew. You know what I'm saying? Your aunt hanging. Oh, we're gonna up. turn up. Mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm, that is fat. Hey, uh, can you have some behavior? Yeah, I'm gonna have some behavior. Hey, right, yeah, we're gonna have a. Hey, right, the wedding gonna be huge, nephew. We're gonna be. I'm gonna. I give it like maybe six months to a year, you know what I'm saying? But we're gonna have the big wedding. But I went ahead and just took off the market. I ain't playing out here, man. I ain't playing. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, man. I know what I want when I want, and I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's up? What's up, nephew? My nigga, my nigga Dre said plenty of bacchanal guan. Plenty of bacchanal guan. But I'm not really a bacchanal girl, you know. I'm a good girl. Yeah. Bacchanal is... How do you, you chance it bacchanal in, like, Ebonics? Bacchanal is... It's like drama. Bacchanal is... I don't know, baby. What, you, what is it? Ratchet? Yeah. Bacchanal is ratchet shit. Yeah. But not just... No. Not just... Ra well, yeah. It's confusion. It's like drama. It's like... Yeah, we ain't with the we ain't we, with the we confusion. Not with, yeah, we, I'm, we not with the bacchanal. Yeah, we with that we with that big bag. We with that big bag. No, we with the soft life. You and this bullshit. We you yeah, big the bag. soft the soft We're life. We're with the soft life. No bacchanal. Stress free, easy living. Focus on the family, mm. wealth creation, conflict resolution, conflict resolution, peace, de escalation, peace. understanding, yeah. empathy, mm, empathy. Yeah. You know, we gotta stop all of this like trauma bonding and i mean i'm talking from experience i mean i'm not perfect like i've been through a lot of things mm -hmm. i have abandonment issues from my dad and things like that but mm -hmm. you know therapy is your best friend <laughs> every successful person in the united states of america has a therapist in their back pocket mm -hmm. and uh, therapy helped me a lot i think eugene helped eugene a lot yeah you still need some work though that mm -hmm. ratchet ratchetness uh, square bin square bin <laughs> um, but yeah Soft life. I got my girl Jennifer on here. What's up, Jennifer? Man, Jennifer was the first one that said congratulations. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. We appreciate the well wishes and the blessing. We know it's quick, it's unconventional, but I think Eugenia and I have had enough experience out there to know. You, 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 you know. You know when it's different. You know when it's the one. I mean, my mom always taught me growing up. When a man, when a man meets his wife, he knows. It don't take five years six years so ladies listen i don't care what part of the world you're in you're in any relationship five years six years you're wasting time the man doesn't want to marry you yeah move on that doesn't mean anything isn't is wrong with you or anything wrong with him you guys are not men for each other men know right away yeah square benny and yeah. you know and i'm gonna let you know a little bit about our culture though oh, tell a me. lot of them don't want to be married though they they got to get that hot girl summer they wait. They go through three seasons to get that hot girl. But you summer. know why though? It's because American culture makes you choose. Trini women have hot girl summer year round, but that hot girl summer going on the same time as wife summer, same time as go out and make your money summer. There's everything summer at the same time. Mm. You know, I feel like America is very limited. You have to choose like your stream. You gotta choose your lane. We ain't have no lane in the islands. It's all lane. It's chaos. In fact. This is a very real metaphor. You come to the Caribbean, half the time there's no lanes. It's just one big road with no white line. There is no lane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you make your own. You know what I mean? Right. So, yeah. Yeah. It's so, it's not anybody's fault. It's just the culture makes you that way. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm going to keep it 100, man. All right. I ain't. Nigga, a nigga got tired of motherfucking trying to use me. You heard me? I'm a motherfucking nigga straight. Hey. I'm a, some behavior. Yeah, hey, I'm a nigga straight from the motherfucking country. You heard me? Motherfucker, thank you. Cause you done cleaned out your motherfucking act. Like uh like you some like you some sucker out here in these streets. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And uh How about your clean up that? Clean up what? Mm -hmm. But uh I ain't even about to show that ass right there, boy. That ass fat right there. Boy, that ass I'm trying to tell you, boy. Hey, that, that Trinidad boy, she over there eating that Texas cornbread, you heard me. 
We don't eat no cornbread until Friday. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about. We don't eat no damn cornbread. We eat dumplings. Mm-hmm. But, you know, shit. I'm like, uh, long story short, man, you know, man, you get your partner, man, that's a good thing, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't a religious dude or nothing like that, but, you know, you find you a good thing, man, you got to make sure you maintain, you go get that. So to all my niggas out there, that with the with the no wife happy life movement, hey, I'm hanging up the jersey, my nigga. I done found me a good thing. I'm gonna build on that, and that's just what it is, man. That's just what it is, man. You think you man? They said they said, oh, bro, you you the main one talking shit. Yeah, I was, my nigga. I was, was the main talking one talking a bunch shit, of shit, dude. Fooling people. I, I saw right through that. You saw I'm right like, through oh, that. Baby, seriously, I was like, oh, he's a cry for help. It's, yeah, that's that nursery spirit. He's a cry spirit. for help. <laughs> <laughs> I was crying for help. You were crying one. out for help, baby. I saw you blink twice. Yeah. In one of them lives. Uh -huh. Talking shit. Yeah, I was crying for help. All right, yeah, yeah, I heard what she said. You hear me? <laughs> Boy, I'm at, I'm at my old lady house right now. That's a Texas thing. Y'all, they say that in Trinidad, old lady. No. Yeah, so I'm at my old lady house, and uh, at a remote location. You heard me. And uh, you know what I'm saying? We we about to liquidate this bad boy, and we about to build. We about to work on our legacy and our lineage. You know what I'm saying? And we about to build. Team Alexander. Team Alexander. You you ready for that last name, baby? Yes, baby. You ready for that last name? Yeah, of course I'm ready. I said yes, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Right. Team Alexander, baby. Team Alexander, we rocking and rolling, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, got the receipts. So, hey, I, I, man, my goal was to how, was to become a millionaire. That's too small, man. That shit too weak. You know what I'm saying? We're going, we're going for the big bag. You used to work for Goldman Sachs? Yes, sir. Hey, she know how to raise capital and all that. So, you know what I'm saying? I know how to raise capital, too. I've been doing it for like two years, but... We're going to take it to the next level, though. We're about to blow this bitch all the way up. Y'all going to see a lot more coming, especially with the nonprofit. She do events. You do events, too, yes, right? Baby. It's like, damn, we both do events. We both raise capital. We both got the education on. But, you know, right now, man, you know, to me, marriage is business. It is business. You want to you wanna, you wanna make sure your wife at home, man, you got to have a strategic plan. So your wife can be home so you can take care of your family, man. It's just business. It's just straight up. So how can you you bail with somebody? But this is one thing I learned, though. Either the person got it or they don't. You know what I'm saying? And the great thing is about my girl and my fiance is that I can call her and I can say, hey, baby, what you think about this idea? And sometimes I might play a little dumb just to see where she at. And she's speaking the same language I'm speaking. And sometimes she play a little dumb to see where I'm at. But the great, the great thing is, we speaking the same language. You know what I'm saying? So that's what that's what makes it so good, man. Marriage is business. And I got me a, uh, a helpmate. I got me a wife. I got me a business partner. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I was already happy before I was even with baby girl. I think that's important too. Both people need to be whole. Both people need to already find joy in their own life. Yeah, you can't you can't depend on your partner to make you happy. You know, you need to be happy on happy. your own. Yeah, yeah. So what, what what you think about, like, the the family aspect? Is somebody having a family, you know, do you look into a person's family, how they get along with their mom, their dad? They, I, I didn't in the so? past. I kind of, like, went with love. But love, love is chemistry. Love is an emotion. But I realize um, you need more in a marriage than just love. Love, love can only take you so far. Um having a stable family background or at least aspiring to that or valuing that, I think mm -hmm. that's a real asset. So, yeah, right. I think that's important. Okay. Look, look at that motherfucker. Look at that dragonfly in that motherfucker. Ah, you afraid of bugs? Oh. You want to be in the hot tub hey, too. Look, Come look, on. Look at that Respect the animals. Respect nature. <laughs> That is big. Yeah, that motherfucker huge, man. <laughs> hey, but uh, that's how it is out there in Texas, though, baby. That's okay. I'm not afraid of bugs. I'm from the country, from the island. Mm -hmm. So. That's what's up, man. But yeah. um, 
you know, it was a lot of things that look went into it, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, shit, motherfucker. I don't like I don't like a nigga being broke around me though. You know what I'm saying? It's like shit. Dude, what's your plan? What's your plan of action to get out your situation? You know, you ever heard somebody just telling you like they running something like what they gonna do and woo do woo do woo, then that shit don't be working out. What you be thinking about that shit? Well, it depends. Back in the day, I would always have hope, but if the person doesn't have a strong action plan to pull themselves or whatever adversity they end, then it's a no go. Hey, hey, <laughs> it's a no go. <laughs> Hey, fuck a potential, nigga. You need to be potential. Yeah, around I used to look up. for potential back in the day, but potential is not enough. I'm like, shit, I'm in my motherfucking 30. I'm 36. I'm about to be 40. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, nigga, you ain't potential yet. The fuck? You ain't get it out the mud? I can tell you, baby girl, she she didn't got, nigga. I know one thing about college. Ain't nobody giving you them grades, nigga. You don't just get no motherfucking... No. Master's degree for nothing out this bitch. You feel me? Yes, baby. Yep. Yeah. So, hey, man. You know, this is one thing I learned through my counseling sessions, man. Because I got a counselor. I've got a therapist I've been going to for like almost 10 years since 2013. And I learned how to identify. And uh, what is the compartmentalize? Compartmentalize. Compartmentalize. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I had to figure that shit out. You know what I'm saying? And then, boom. And once I started figuring it out, I was like, okay. This is something I could never build with. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that made poor financial decisions, poor life choices. And, you know, sometimes we make mistakes. That's fair. That's understandable. But to continue to, man, I study patterns of behavior really tough. And when you see somebody and they continue to make that same pattern, then you guys just say, hey. But to the, to my dogs out there, I know y'all like to be Captain America, my nigga. You want to be Captain America, nigga? Keep doing you, my nigga. But just, hey, just know, my nigga, I'm out the motherfucking game, nigga. I found me a motherfucking partner, bro. I got a nigga, got to find somebody to bail with. And that's what the motherfucking nigga did. So, hey, I know the no wife, happy life moving. Hey, every nigga done told me, nigga. I done heard it a thousand times. Trust me, I mean, <laughs> y'all niggas done beat me up all motherfucking week. You heard me? <laughs> all week, baby. Even even at the event, my nigga was like, dog, nigga, you nigga. <laughs> you talking all that shit, nigga. I said, yeah, hey, nigga, I changed my mind, nigga. I changed my mind, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> shit. But I'll just I'll just I'll just I'll just mess with man, but real square business though. Square business. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what you know, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I can call baby girl, man. She matched my rhythm. She matched my rhythm. You know, she get up. She get up the same time I get up. And I'm this like, yeah. You know what? Hey, you know what, baby? I was. T I used to date this chick. She be in the bed all the way up to like whenever. And she like ain't about to be getting up. Like I, I, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. You want sleep? You want sleep in? And I'm up. Shit, we got to be around. Don't get me wrong. If you had a long day after, you know what I'm saying? Okay, baby, hey, sleep in. I get that. But to make a day like a pattern of sleeping in, you broke, you struggling. Like, I know for a fact sleeping in ain't where the bag is at. But that's just me, though. It's just me. It ain't no shade. If you like sleeping in, sleep in. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my nigga Dre. My nigga Dre said, uh... Introduce him to some Sparrow music. What's that? Oh, Sparrow is uh, one of our... He's the king of Trini music. Yeah. All right. That's, all right I'm going to introduce him to that trap music, nigga. You trying to put me on that Trinidad, nigga. I'm trying to get on that trap music, nigga. That, that I, know, I went to an HBCU. I know about trap music, kind nigga, of. You was, in, <laughs> you was in Baltimore, nigga. You was, that was a hundred years. Oops. Uh, <laughs> I know about trap music. Yeah, you okay, honey? You are packing lunch. But hey, man, let me get. Can you make my hey, I'm about, I'm about to integrate, I'm about to integrate the culture a little bit, man. I'm about to get on this island music, man. So when I get out there to Trinidad, my dog, I'm gonna be out there. You know what I'm saying? What's up? What's up, Alize? What, what's happening, my dog? What's up, my G? What's up, my G? Hey, I was just, I'm just. If y'all watching this on the replay. <laughs> Like this video, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. square business. Um, yeah, yeah, I will do that for you. So just add it to so your nice. cars, and then we'll put your. It was a good. It was a great weekend, man. I done got to meet the mother. 
mother mother in law mother in law is gave me a blessing, gave me her approval, man. It don't get no better than that, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be I'm gonna keep it one hundred on that. I ain't never been I ain't never been cool with an in law. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been cool with an in law. Usually the apple don't fall too far from the tree and I really don't be interested. Like shit, I'ma just keep doing me until I find what I want. But my mother in law done gave me her blessing. Hey, Alize, Alize on that motherfucker. Hi, Alize. What's, what's up, How Alize? Are you? What's up? What kind of close by, Alize? <laughs> <laughs> we're in the neck of the woods. Yeah, somewhere we, might, a, we might meet for drinks. Yeah, at a remote location, <laughs> Alize. We 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 in your neck. We in your backyard, Alize. <laughs> we in your backyard, uh, but uh, but yeah, we just chilling. We just chilling. But um. I'm just like, man, I be trying to tell my dogs, man, they be some, some of my dogs, they be trying to hit me up. They be like, man, they be saying they be having problems. But what I look at the situation, really nine out of 10, them niggas be the problem though. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to communicate and comprehend and they ain't got no real track record on leadership. You know what I'm saying? So until they build they self up and do the self improvement of what they need to do, then you'll find it. But one thing I realized is out of all my all my friends, mm -hmm. they married. Like all of my dogs. Now what happened to you? I was a renegade, goddamn shit. <laughs> I'm a renegade. Even in my family. I'm the only one that ain't been married and ain't got no kids. I'm the only one. I'm all the way renegade. So, you know what I'm saying? So I just knew I just knew it was just bound a time to happen, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but go for him, my nigga. My nigga Dre, he he an international traveler. He a traveling man, so he already know what I'm talking about. We already we already on game out here. It's not about going far and stop that. It's not about going far. What about, is what it's is about it then? Mindset, babe. What's the, what's the mindset? What's the you mindset? You just have to find somebody who has a similar program. You have to be aligned. You gotta gotta think similar. You got common goals you could you know yeah yeah somebody yeah yeah it's not just same about, mission yeah it's not just about the attraction or the chemistry you need more you need more substance you need more synergy that's what makes relationships work in the long term otherwise it's just fun and games right yeah yeah it's just fun and games I'm for the time being i'm too old for fun and games right now yeah yeah <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little i ain't getting no younger either you know what i'm saying so shit but yeah, you got fun. You just I found somebody that matched my rhythm. You heard me, and that's just all what it come down to, man. I got somebody who matched my wavelength. I can hit baby girl up at twelve o'clock at night, and she gonna answer the phone. If I got a business idea, I'm a, I can rent it by her, and she know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So it just work out like that, man. It just work out like that. Hey, what's that song? I'm an island boy with my island girl. <laughs> You know, island boy. I'm an island boy. Sit yourself down. Your mom said look like I'm from the island. You son. do have that look though. You I do. got the I got the island look. Yeah, you do got the island look. Okay, that's what's up, man. <laughs> man, that shit look good at night. You hear me? I know. I, man, I wish it was out here. But we gonna get it. We gonna run it back, baby. It's so much. It's so much land. And water in Texas, it'll blow your motherfucking head off. Okay, because I need my water now. Oh, yeah, we're going we gonna to run it back. It's too much. It's, it's an abundance in Texas. Yes, sir. Abundance in Texas. See, Papi. All right, folks, check you out later. You did.